Hey, so today I'm going to talk about my socket system or suspension system that I wear with my prosthetics. I know I mentioned that I was going to do it the day before, but I'm not the best at recording and I accidentally deleted some clips, so here I go. Second attempt. So, uh, suspension system. Why is it called a suspension system? Because this is how the prosthetics suspend to my limbs or my stumps. So I have a double walled vacuum system on my left side or AK above knee side and um, I have this because it has low trim lines which I really like. Um, let's see, I'll lean back and show you just how low. See the trim lines come right here and this is the top of my thigh and so my butt is right here. So I'm actually sitting on my butt when I sit. I'm not sitting on a socket. And then on my right side, which I wear a single wall uh, vacuum system, I'll tell you in a moment why, um, the trim lines are even lower. So like my, the top of the socket comes to right here. And so you can hear the, the c leg 4 beeping. Um, and that means that it's trying to communicate with Bluetooth, but that's a different topic. So, um, I'll just go backwards like I'm taking them off at the end of the night. So, here we go. So, on the left side, I have this pin which holds the outer socket to the inner socket. This is the inner socket or inner cup, and this is the outer socket. And you can see I have a flexible brim here which moves so it's not really digging into me. Actually, it doesn't dig in at all. Um, but if I put it back on, sorry. There. You can see uh, how low the trim line is here. Well, I don't know if you can see, but... You know, it doesn't, it's like really low. It doesn't cut into my groin. I don't, my groin, I don't feel it at all. Um, it's not an issue for me. So, again, pull out the pin. I put the pin back in there just for safekeeping. And then this is the inner socket. So these are the two walls. So, and how does this stay on? This stays on by passive vacuum. Um, this is a one-way valve right here, so it lets air out, but doesn't let air back in. And then I have a sleeve at the top here, which has a tacky material on the other side, and this tacky material touches the liner that I wear over my stump. You'll see once I roll it down. But if I remove this valve, you'll hear the air escaping from the system. And then if I put the valve back on, this is not coming off. So, to take this off, I can leave the valve on, and then I simply roll the sleeve down, which breaks the seal. And then I remove the inner cup. Put it there for safekeeping. And I'm wearing three ply worth of sock. Three ply worth of one ply sock right now. And so the thing that I like about this system is this allows for volume changes, fluctuations throughout the day or throughout your uh, health. So, um, you know, if I gain weight, I can take off a sock. If I lose weight, I can add socks. The only thing is, you know, if I gain too much weight, then I need a new socket completely. And actually, I had both of these sockets made earlier in the year uh, just because I gained weight because I'd been going to the gym every day. So, um, to continue, I'll take off two socks, leave one sock on so that I can roll the liner back on itself and that'll make it easy for the liner to come off. And you'll see what I mean. And there. That's it. This is the liner that I wear over my AK or above knee side. And the reason why it's called an above knee um, is because it was cut above the knee. So I don't have a knee. Um, so, and then you can see me contract the muscle there. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about wigg wiggling the toes. But um, when I wiggle the toes, I can actually feel it at the end of my stump. I know it's weird. But I can, you know, this contraction and this liner allows me to control my prosthetic socket when I'm walking, um, going upstairs or going down slopes, um, 
helps me control my prosthetics. Uh, if you've seen a video of me walking, that's one of the reasons why I can walk so good. Okay, now for the right side, this is the single wall socket. And the reason why I have a single wall socket on here is because my femur is complete. So this is my KD, or knee disarticulation side, knee disartic for short. Um, a disarticulation is like a separation of things. So they separated the two bottom, I believe the tibia and fibula, from my femur. I, and you'll see when I take this off. This one, I don't need to remove this valve. Actually, I do need to, I just remembered, I do need to remove, I just got a new seal and liner here, which you'll see when I take this off. So I actually don't need this sleeve anymore, but I wear it just because it provides an extra level of stability in the back here, which I like. So I roll this down, take off the valve. I don't know if you heard the air expel escape in that. So, and then watch how hard this is to pull off. <laughs> So that's how, how tight this new liner, this new Echo Seal liner that I wear keeps my prosthetic on me. And then I wear two little one-ply socks on the top just to take up any extra volume because um, I like a really tight fitting. The more intimate fitting the socket is, the more control you have, the more a part of you it feels. So this is the Echo Seal liner which I just switched to uh, a few months ago. And I believe this is a silicone material. Um, and I leave this on here to make this easy to roll off also. So I just go ahead and roll this off. And that's it. Take this out and put it in here for safekeeping. And this is my knee disartic or KD liner. And this liner is silicone, both liners are silicone, but this one is custom made at my prosthetic clinic in Irvine, Southern California Prosthetics. They have a, a shop connected to their clinic which makes these liners, so it's really cool. Um, and what I love, like I said, you know, I can contract my muscles, you can see my, where my kneecap used to be, wiggling. Um, and so it just allows me a lot of control um, it also is very, I was looking at some notes, it also um, is very comfortable. I can wear these, I wear these um, 16 hours a day or more depending on when I decide to go to sleep at night when I take them off. Um, so I take, you know, I'll take naps in these because I'm too lazy to take them off. Uh, I travel in them, I just went to New York last week and you know I woke up at seven, put on my legs probably around 7.30, and then didn't take them off until about 1 a.m. New York time. And then also, when I first moved from Guam, which is, you know, three hours south of Japan by plane, um, when I f moved from Guam back to the U.S., it was more than a 24-hour flight. And, um, well, not the flight actually, but, you know, the travel time, including layovers and all that. Uh, but more than 24 hours, I had no issues with these sockets at all. They were so comfortable. Um, and then how do you clean these? You clean these with a spray bottle filled with simple isopropyl alcohol, 70%. And um, that keeps it clean. I've never had issues with them otherwise. Um, and this is also how you put it back on. I'll show you in a moment, because you might be thinking, well, this is a complicated system. It's going to take me a long while to put it on, take it off, and it's not really. I swim a few times a week, and I have no issues taking them on, putting them, uh, taking them off, putting them back on. I just, it's part of my life now as a double amputee that wants to walk, so um, I'm used to it, and because I'm used to it, I could probably do it really quickly. So let me show you how it's done. So, okay, I'll start the timer now. We're at 9.50, go. So I wanna spray some alcohol in there so it slides on itself.
And then you'll want to wipe it down with some alcohol or not. It depends on if you're in a hurry. So then put on my liner, my Echo Seal liner, which I really like. Make sure that's on correctly. And then you want to spray the inside walls of your socket so that the seal will slide down. And then also make sure, I have a little mark here, make sure that this is aligned correctly so that your feet are the way you like them, are pointing in the direction that you like. And then slide the sleeve down. And then the other side, some alcohol in there. Make sure that's lined up correctly. There's a little mark there that helps me determine if it is lined up. And then put on the socks. I just, you know, I take off two at a time so I can put back two on at a time. And then put on the last one. Get the inner cuff, put it on, make sure that's oriented in the way that I like. Put on the outer socket, pin in, and I'm up. And so that took, um, let's see, it was 11.35, I guess, about when I finally put it on. So less than two minutes, and you know, I've done it quicker. Um, I was just explaining it for everyone to see. So that's my socket system. Um, and I like my, and as, you, as you can see, I forgot my two caps, um, but I can walk fine without them with no pain. It won't cause uh, any discomfort. Um, that's my socket system, double wall vacuum socket, single wall vacuum socket. Um, now I've got a hand pump where I can pull vacuum on this and that'll create an elevated vacuum socket system. But I, in the four or five years I've had this system, I haven't ever drawn vacuum on it. I just don't need it. Um, I heard that if I did more sports, it would make it feel like it's more secure on me. So maybe when I start running more, I'll start doing that. But that's the system that I like. Um, yeah, any questions on this system, shoot me a comment. Follow me on Instagram at OC Amputee or Facebook at JRV Hill. All right. Thanks and I hope you enjoyed my review.